What's smoking on my dragons? Divine Righteous Almighty Great Silver Achiever. Never slacking. Much love to everybody who watches this video. Today we're taking it to Germany. Shout out to Germany. I actually had a friend in um was it uh Hamburg? Hamburg. Yep. And uh she would tell me a lot of a lot of interesting things about Hamburg. So I think that's like northern Germany or something like that. So I'm I'm excited to hop into this. You know, uh, top ten places to visit in Germany, 4K travel guide, and really just see what they got. You know, see what the scenery looking like. With that being said, original link will be in the description. Let's get to it. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan Shirley, and I want to show you some of my favorite places in the enchanting country of Germany. So here's my Germany top ten. Germany is home to some of the world's most stunning landscapes, from endless castles, medieval towns straight out of a fairy tale, and the towering Bavarian Alps, Germany has so much to offer. It's crazy because one of those castles in the beginning, I seen that image on like Pinterest and reposted it before. Actually, I think I re when I hit like maybe 10,000 subscribers, I might have took that same castle right there. And, and posted it like uh because uh, sh uh, shout out to my subscribers we hit 10k because I love castles so um wow that beautiful I would I didn't know it was actually from Germany and whoo Germany I'm already I'm already loving you let's start this video off in the magical village of Rottenburg now when you go to Rottenburg you'll feel like you're walking in a fantasy movie it's one of the most preserved medieval old towns in all of Europe during the Middle Ages, Rottenburg thrived as it was located at the crossroads of European trade routes. At the beginning of the 15th century, it rose to becoming the second largest city in all of Germany. But during the 17th century, Rottenburg faced adversities such as the Thirty Year War and the Bubonic Plague. Without much resources, Rottenburg's growth was halted, which aided in keeping the town preserved in its medieval state. Today, Rottenburg maintains its medieval charm and it's been the inspiration for sets of Disney movies movies such as Pinocchio. If you go, you can wow. check out the famous Ploning Corner or I can see it. I can see it. Pinocchio. Witness the beautiful Christmas markets. I mean, just hard to beat the lore of this German village. It's so interesting to me though that like cuz I'm pretty sure Pinocchio was based in like Italy. It's so interesting to me like with directors how they'll go outside of that and just find different areas and different places and shoot at. Obviously, I'm sure it has to do with maybe like I don't know, budgets or certain different things probably take place, to, you know, uh, 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 factor in. But uh, that is so interesting. So interesting. From Rottenburg, you can make the three hour drive to the beautiful city of Munich. Mm. Also, I don't even mean to keep pausing, but I already know Willy Wonka was shot here because when, when I was supposed to visit my friend in Hamburg, I, I looked up where was uh, Willy Wonka shot, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I seen uh, Munich. Woo. Known as Bavaria's capital, Munich is located in the south of Germany, about 50 kilometers from the Alps. During World War II, Munich was heavily bombed by over 70 air raids, but today the city is restored to its former beauty. One of the most popular spots is the Marienplatz Central Square. You'll find the new town hall with its stunning clock tower and historical figurines. After exploring Munich, we're going to head to the Alps to visit Berchtesgaden. Now I have to say this may be one of the most beautiful towns in all of Germany. It's just a two hours drive from Munich and it's nestled in the Bavarian Alps. One of my favorite features of the town is the Watzmann Mountain. It has these uniquely shaped peaks that tower over the town. It almost looks like someone took a bite out of it. There's so many beautiful churches around Berchtesgaden to explore, such as the Maria Gern Church, which offers a perfect view of the Watzmann Peaks. Just south of the town is where Hitler's former Eagle's Nest Retreat is located. It's now a restaurant with unbelievable views. The area is full of stunning alpine lakes such as Hintersee, which offers just incredible views. You can also visit the Berchtesgaden National Park and explore all its hidden treasures. I mean, the whole area is just pure paradise. Now after, we're going to visit Lake Constance. Now it's this massive lake that's not only in Germany, but also borders Austria and Switzerland. I remember I was hiking in the mountains of Appenzell, Switzerland, and I can see the lake from where I was at. I mean, just huge. Now it's the second largest lake in all of Europe by volume. Now one scenic place on the lake is this town called Lindau. Now what makes it so unique is that it's this island. Now it was first mentioned by a monk in the 9th century, and during medieval times, it became quite the fortified city. 
Today, it's a popular place to visit. I just love the harbor and just the fact that it's an island. I mean, just such a cool place. Another picturesque city on Lake Constance is Mearsburg. It's located right on the shores and it's a historical town like with beautiful colored houses. I and mean, I just can't think of a better place to go during a warm German summer. After it, we're going to visit the Hohenzollern Castle. Now I have to say this is one of the most impressive castles in all of Germany. It sits perfectly on Mount Hohenzollern and can be seen from miles away. Hohenzollern is the last of three castles that was built upon this hill. It was completed in 1867 as a memorial to the Prussian royal family. Today it's one of Germany's most visited castles and I understand why. Another stunning castle in Germany is the Kohem Castle. The original castle was built back in the 1100s and it made its money by collecting shipping tools on passing ships down on the river. Sadly, it was destroyed in 1689 by the French, but in 1868, a wealthy businessman from Berlin decided to rebuild the castle ruins. Today, it stands perched on a hill overlooking the beautiful town of Kohem, the Moselle River. Another stunning castle just 30 minutes away is the Elts Castle. It's a popular place to get that classic Instagram picture. So if you're in the area, you got to check both these castles out. You won't regret it. I ain't going to lie. I go to Germany. I'm going straight to the castles. Straight to the castles. After, we're going to visit the capital city of Berlin. Now today, Berlin is a thriving capital with a population of over 3.6 million people. It's an incredible city with a complicated history. Now Berlin was first documented in the 13th century. During World War II, it was the headquarters of Hitler's Third Reich and became the most heavily bombed city in history. After the war, Berlin was divided into the East and West Berlin. With the end of the Cold War, East and West Berlin were finally reunited in 1990. So one of my favorite spots is the Radenberg Gate. It's this 18th century neoclassical monument that is Germany's national symbol of unity and peace. You can also check out the Berlin Wall Memorial to see remnants of the historical wall. After Berlin, we're going to head over to Hamburg. Hamburg. <laughs> Germany's history is so rich. Um, one thing about the German people is... I feel like they, they've been through so much. You know, a lot of people have been through so much, but it's almost like I find remnants, or remnants, if I pronounce that correctly, of uh, their culture everywhere. I kid you not. I kid you not. Located in northern Germany on the Elbe River, Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany after Berlin. Thanks to its access to the North Sea, Hamburg grew as the port city throughout the ages. Today it is Europe's third largest port. I just love all the canals that run through the city. Hamburg is home to 2,500 bridges, making it the city with the highest number of bridges in Europe. It reminds me of modern day Venice. A really impressive spot in the city is the Spikerstadt. It's the largest warehouse district in the world. Now another beautiful spot in the city is the Alster Lakes. It's a set of two artificial lakes that are often full of sailboats during the summertime. Now, after Hamburg, we're going to head over to Frankfurt. Located in West Central Germany, Frankfurt is one of Europe's major financial hubs and it's home to the European Central Bank. It's full of beautiful skyscrapers and kind of reminds me of American cities. Aside from its skyscrapers and financial district, Frankfurt is a beautiful historical town. One of the most popular places is Romerberg. It's a beautiful town square lined with colorful timber houses that will get your German vibes going. From Frankfurt, you can make the three hour drive to the Black Forest. Now, located right on the border of France. The Black Forest is a giant region famous for its dense vegetation, picturesque villages, and it's often associated with the Brothers Grimm mm. fairy tales. Whenever I think of Germany, I just think of the Black Forest with its cuckoo clocks and just beautiful German towns. I mean, I can't think of a better place to road trip and experience the beauty of Southern Germany. I mean, just such a cool region. After, we're going to head to the beautiful town of Fussen. Now, located right at the foot of the Bavarian Alps, Fussen is a 700-year-old medieval city full of old world charm. Its streets are lined with cobblestones, and you feel like you're walking back in time as you explore it. I just love all the classical German houses, and I think it's so cool how the milky blue river Lech runs right next to the town. The crowning feature of... That river looks so satisfying. <laughs> like, look how blue it is. Wow. Cool how the milky blue river Lech runs right next to the town. The crowning feature of Fussen is the high castle. I mean, it just adds so much character to the town. If you really want to go back in time, I mean, you just got to give Fussen a visit. Now, for our final destination, mm. we're going to visit the iconic Neuschwanstein Castle. I have to say that it is the most beautiful castle in all Europe. 
It's what inspired Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. I mean, it's just the perfect place for a princess. Now, the castle is nestled at the very tip of southern Germany. Neuschwanstein Castle is placed perfectly in the mountains with a phenomenal 360 view of the Bavarian Alps and the town below. The construction of the castle began in 1869. During World War II, the SS debated blowing up the castle to prevent it from falling into the enemy's hands, but thankfully it never happened. To date, the castle receives over 1.4 million visitors a year, so it's definitely a tourist hotspot. I mean, I just can't get over the beauty of this castle. It's something straight out of a fairy tale. Well, that is it for my Germany top 10. I mean, there's just so many beautiful places that I couldn't cover, so I'll have to do a part two. Let me know where your favorite place is in Germany in the comments below. I also started a relaxation channel where I post hour-long films with calming music to bring some peace and nature in your life. I did one on Germany you might like. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Shirley.Films. It's Ryan, and we will see you later. Much love, Ryan. I'm going to have to go check out his meditation. I'm going to definitely have to go check out his meditation videos. And, and uh, yeah, for sure, that scenic relaxation. I mean, just beautiful. I had, like, Germany, You when it comes to to the to the... To the the stories, you know, you got this Germany wins when it comes to all the stories in Disney Day. I mean, I, it wasn't mentioned, but Munich, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is like, that's one of my top five favorite movies, right? Um, Sleeping Beauty, that's incredible. You know, I had no clue about that. Pinocchio, that's incredible. Had no clue about that. Um, uh, what was it what they say, Little Red Riding Hood with the Black Forest? Had no clue about that. Like, whoa. Germany. And then it's like, I just did a reaction to, you know, Romanian history. And, you know, there's, there's a lot, there's, there's places that's just straight up set up like Germany. Cause a lot of Germans went over there. So it's like Germans, like <laughs> their culture has you know, influenced the world in many ways, in many ways. Um, wow. Wow. That was beautiful. I love that video. I really do. I love I love the, the the everything about it. Like I felt like if I was to go to Germany I don't know. Like I know I said I would start with the castles, but to be honest, I wouldn't know where to start. I would I would I would probably start with I, the Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I would want to go to those locations and um really see those those locations, how they look now. Uh which is crazy because in a, in a 19, would it come out like 1975 or something like that, but maybe sometime around in mid 70s. But the uh, the actor who played Charlie in that movie, he's actually from upstate New York, just like me. <laughs> he still lives there to this day. I think he actually owns a farm. But I would love to just go there and look at the different locations and kind of compare from then to now. Uh, even with the with Pinocchio, you know, but the first stop would definitely be in Munich. Uh, I know Hamburg. I think Hamburg is more like a. I think would be more more so like a party vibe from from how my friend had explained it to me, right? Uh, but from there, from the from Munich, I would I would definitely want to go see those castles. Those castles are lovely, just absolutely lovely. The way they're built and just man, how could you not love that? I know, I know. In Germany, they're probably so used to it, though. It's you know, they're like, oh, you know, it's like it's like over here with us, you know, um, with places in New York City, like Empire State Building and all that. Like, it's still a cool sight to see some time, but it's like, all right, you know. But so I know over there, they're probably like, oh, that's you know, they grew up with that. But if somebody like me who not from there, who never seen things like that, yeah, that is incredible and just jaw dropping to me. Um, Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. But, <laughs> man, I'd be mind blown by these videos, guys. I love it. But with that being said, that was top 10 places to visit in Germany. And, um, yes, I was very impressed. Much love. If you want more videos like this, don't uh, hesitate to hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. And with that being said, I will see all you soon. Much love and prosperity to everybody who watches this video's lives. I hope everything that you're working on continues to manifest and just love comes into your life. Much love.